Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna wait until a few of you appear until I um, start properly. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. Hello. Hey Ollie. How's it going, man? <laughs> hey guys. Just waiting for um, Nathan to join, who is going to do so very shortly. I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I have to squint. <laughs> so excuse me. I'm like a hundred years old. If I had to read these, so forgive me. Did you enjoy the first episode? Was it, was it your first time watching it? How many people was it the first time? I did enjoy it. Um, it was weird. <laughs> hey, Devin. Devin was a makeup person on season one. I'm very talented and very lovely. It won't let you join. <laughs> it won't let Nathan join. Not the best with technology. Hi, Com. What does it say? Let's see. Can I fix this? Ah. <laughs> I think he's coming. I just approved you there. Hold on. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> this is very typical. Try that again. Yeah, I saw you for one second. I did not block you. Would I do that? Yes, probably. But not on this occasion. <laughs> Things go very, oh, here we go. Here we go, is it gonna work? Technology is hard. Are we ready? Oh, Nathan's coming. He's having trouble, trouble with his technology. Hello? Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> the stress. I was just the stress. I was all set up, I was ready to go. And it wasn't working. And I'm, I'm like, I've swept through my clothes. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just not good with this technology either. I mean, well, I, can't, I can't even get my phone. I can't even get my phone to sit straight. It's balanced. Look, I'm sweating as well. Look, I'm, I'm sweating with, with bad technology knowledge. You look so fit. Look at your hair. You look so good. Yeah, I've got to cut off. I was going to go Targaryen and, and have the Daenerys swoop, but um, I decided against it. Oh, shut yeah. up. I had to mention it somewhere. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> he can gobbledygook the next hour. I can't. I can't engage. Do you know what I mean? No, you, you won't engage, I think, is more the word. How are you? It's been a while. I'm on a gag, but it's backwards. I, okay, but I'm going to show it now. But it's, is it mirrored? <laughs> Uh, it is married. Don't ask me about season two. Uh, but my yeah. guy really um, because uh, wait, it says my voice is cutting out. It is a little bit, but the is... Audio is a bit Oh no, it's all gone wrong. One second, keep everyone in sight. <laughs> Do you have your internet turned on? Are you on like 2G and somewhere ridiculous? Just to know, guys. Um, oh. <laughs> oh no, is every, this is a disaster. This is, is your internet on? Uh, he's gone. He's gone to turn his reader on, probably. But if he's not his pen, I used to carry a pen like that for Game of Thrones when every day people would ask me if Jon Snow dead and um, I would just say I don't care. I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> but it was the same thing. No, he's here. He's back. Oh, God. Oh, what? God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
it repels technology. Hello, Kelvin. How's it going, your life friend? I can also, oh, my, bro- <laughs> my brother's like panicking, messaging me, trying to tell me how to stop the audio from cutting out. Is this okay. any better now I have headphones in? Amazing. Almost Shakespearean. <laughs> well, I mean, if I had a penny, do you know what I mean? You give us a song. Okay. okay. Is that, is How that was your better? Christmas? Okay, my Christmas was, you know what? It was great. Your it was gorgeous. Shit. Oh, your fuck me. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, um, no, this is gonna work. Okay, <laughs> okay. No one panic. That's my impression of restart me. Okay, that was terrible. Sort Christ, of. That was awful. Yes. And yeah, I'm propping up the phone on a copy. If I'm glad, I'm glad my mum died by Jeanette McCurdy. So no one panic. Okay, right. I'm here, and now we can actually start. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Nice badge. Listen, I said it was going to be chaos. I'm, o- I'm delivering on my promise. You do you know what I mean? No. Um, n- how was your Christmas then? It was yeah, exactly. Um, I was sick. I, I've been sick forever. Um, I've now had three flus in a row. Um, so I, on Christmas Day, I was in bed for four o'clock. But it was actually oh, kind of nice. Babe. That was actually crazy yes. fuck. I was actually having a Christmas dinner and mum was like as well, so she went to bed ten minutes after me. So she went she went to bed also. I was uh, gonna say, you bed, I, not, not I, I I Yeah, for sure. But also <laughs> you being like I was in bed for four o'clock, what, like forty five minutes earlier than you normally get in bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm very old. I have to be in bed every six PM these days. Mm. You know. By the way, someone just, accu- someone just accused me of drinking 7-Up in the comments, and I'm, I want everyone to know that's crazy and that's slander, and I would never touch 7-Up in my life. I've Isn't this cute? My boy... It's a little because my boyfriend um, bought me some from America for Christmas. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? You know you can buy them in the UK? I don't know that you can. Um, all you have to do is open up that thing called Google or... And type in. Well, I think uh, you probably have to buy them from Amazon, and I, I, we don't use Amazon. You don't support uh, global conglomerations. That's a lie. I absolutely use Amazon almost every single day. <laughs> um, I'd advertise for them for free. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so my Christmas last year, I didn't really give a coherent answer. My Christmas was good. I also mm-hmm. huge news turned thirty. Was <laughs> anyone thinking that? Nine. No, honey, I'm so... The 20s are out. My 20s are done. It's so, like... Being in your 20s is so obvious. Do you know what I mean? It's so on Didn't the nose to be that. in your 20s. Being in your Didn't 20s is like... That. You know, but being in your 30s is like... Being in your 30s is chic. You know, being in your 30s okay. is kind of... You know? But being in your 20s is like... <laughs> who does that anymore? Um, Why well, have been for 40s and 30s? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure, no. I, I, even, I don't Definitely. believe that. No, no, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't have it in my heart to even pretend. <laughs> Not from um, work anymore. How did you feel about watching our flag? That was so weird. Um, you know, the weirdest thing was, it's, it's obviously all the memories of the big empty studio and seeing the actual fucking boat on the water. Mm. I mean, obviously I knew it was going to happen. I mean, it wasn't going to be an empty studio on the screen, but yeah, yeah. it's still well done. It's it's really well done, and it's also um, it's really trippy to watch it. It's really yeah. like like the the water's really like nauseating. Do you know what I mean? Like when you watch it, and you're like, oh. It, but then I suppose we did like the LED screen did kind of simulate the feeling of that. Yeah. But I was watching it back. I when I watched the show for the like first time with my boyfriend, I kept turning to him and like I must have been so annoying. I kept being like, 
and you know that bit there, like, you know we're not actually on water there. Like, I know it looked, and he was like, yeah, no, Nathan, I know you're like never on water in the show. Like, I know it's always fake. But I was like, no, but look at it. It's crazy how much it looks like water. Like, I couldn't stop talking about it. Well, you know how the boat wrapped in season one? Yeah. Well, you won't know this, but in season two, it didn't rock. Um, it, it didn't really rock the boat. Easy. They didn't wrap the boat in season two. There was were no, there were none wrap. of those. Did no. You ha were you were you giving it? Were you giving it? With, were you selling it? Was with it your, the whole with Star Trek uh, like asteroid asteroid attack thing? We're all like, yeah. It was like yeah, the, like, yeah, yeah. In the heart for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was, it was, it was really weird it. to watch it. I'm not saying the emotional points. Um, mm. I didn't expect it to be, you know, obviously it felt like, you know, we didn't realise the effect it was going to have and at the time and how, how much love it was going to be and and just to see, like, the, the best of the stage and the bullying and stuff and it's really quite sad. Uh, we we never, never got to see that, obviously, because we weren't in those scenes. Um, yeah. And that's the first time I've seen them. Mm -hmm. it, was bit, it was triggering. It was triggering. A little yeah. Bit. But in a good way because it totally gets revenge. So it's it's the also called revenge. <laughs> fun fact, fun behind the scenes fact. I um I found um what I found surprising was like obviously we know how the first season ends. Like we we know the journey it goes on. So watching that first episode, I was like oh, wow, like, it is such a big, like, epic arc of a season. Because I was like, how do we get from here to where we ended? And I was like, it was quite cool watching all of the characters and being like, oh, wow, you all have such a, like, massive journey to to go on over the next, yeah. like, ten episodes, you know? Which is cool. Yeah, I mean, and it's also, I, I'm finding it hard not to, I don't want to give spoilers for people in the UK who may not have seen it. Let's just ask the, the audience here, how many people have not watched past episode one? Say yeah. Yeah, is any is anyone here just yeah, say yes in the comments if you've only watched episodes <laughs> <laughs> only watched episode one. I don't think there are any I, I mean I, I I'm pretty sure everyone in the comments right now is like the ball or Yeah, no, everyone's saying R I P this is so I mean that is a bit of a spoiler. I mean <laughs> Um, babes, we've seen it. I've watched it like thirty-eight times. Oh, very good. Um, we should, we should. I'll, I tell you what, because I was good at this last time. I will field some questions. Oh my god, my yeah. best friend Caitlin is watching, and she just said she's just watched it for the first. She's just watched the first episode. Oh yeah, I love you, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. I don't know you, but um, I, I love you also. <laughs> She's an angel. Um, okay, guys, if if you have any questions pertaining to season one of Our Flag Means Death, um, particularly the pilot, yes. the first couple of episodes, ask us in the comments and we'll endeavour to answer. Um, I would like and... you to fade them because I, I'm not wearing my glasses and I can't see and I'm very old, so I can't see them. Oh, it is like FaceTiming with Grandma, truly. Um, uh, can, we, can we just go back to the start of this call and remind ourselves? But you trying to operate your iPhone? But, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. 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 What was your um, favorite scene to film? Do you have a favorite scene in the first episode that you enjoyed? Um, I, I like the, the flag making scene because mm. I felt that was quite that was quite character building. Because that was I'm not sure if you were even really there for that. Maybe that's why I liked it. Um, mm, I'm literally, I'm was, in the scene, I'm fully in the scene. A lot of it was Avid, so um, we got to sort of explore our characters quite a lot then. And some of the future canon of my character was, was decided in that scene, which I think is really cool. Very, okay, yeah, that's a good one. I would say my actually you know what just on that flag making scene I, as i was just because i just rewatched the episode for the first time in ages like as it came out and i am um, i forgot that i fun behind the scenes fact is that uh, you won't remember this because you're um self-involved but i um had a full uh, i had a full i had <laughs> i had a full allergic reaction to the fabric we were using for the like the the like hessian material, I'm really allergic to it, but I didn't want to like 
be difficult. So I just started, like, because it was like our first week of filming. Um, say me, the little Jimmy or starlet that I am. Um, I didn't want to say anything. So I just, like, I, like, it gave me, like, X more around my eyes and stuff. Mm. I mean, I would turn to the fact that I'm self involved with the fact that I don't remember at any time we wouldn't complain. That is true. I do love to complain. It, well, I like to complain about my physical comfort more than anything else. I don't complain about people. <laughs> I just complain. I'm sort of always, my back always hurts, or um, I'm always kind of hungry, or um, over caffeinated or under caffeinated, or I feel a bit nauseous. Do you know what I mean? Well, same. same. Well, yeah, because we're. Yeah, okay. and we're um, broken, in different, broken in different ways. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I, I, I did see some, I saw some more comments earlier, but I'm trying to remember like what the other questions were. Oh, someone asked. Yeah, do the wooden boy voice. I'm not doing the wooden boy voice. I'd sooner die. But um, I, uh, someone asked <laughs> earlier if, because I've told a story that I was like on the spot for that, and it was improv, and someone asked if that's true, and it was true. And your um your line about like making dresses for your mother, that was all improv, right? Yep. Yep, that mm -hmm. was from nowhere. Which mm. is actually um, a flip on the truth because my mother used to make dresses for me when I used to perform as a drag artist. So I flipped yeah, the truth yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that, so good. Um, <laughs> did you choose your, well, <laughs> God, sorry, which member of the Cheetah Girls would Lucius be? God, that's such a good question. Mm. Aqua. Um, okay. Uh, uh, did you choose your costumes, or did you do you have a say in your costumes? That's an interesting one. No, no, no. I liked my costume. It was very comfortable and very easy to wear. But um, I prefer I prefer my upcoming costumes. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But uh, it's it's it's, it's it was lovely. It was easy to wear. It wasn't like wearing a, a, a four-inch thick sack, um, which uh, I've also obviously worn before. Um, yeah, it was uh, no, I, I, not what I would have worn personally. There was no black on it, and there was no studs on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it wasn't. Um, it wasn't like a full goth moo moo. Yeah, like Evanescence the era emo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am, um, no, you don't, you don't get to pick your costume. You do get like a say when you go for fittings and stuff. Like you get to say what you think looks good. I remember I got shown a lot of pictures of like boy George. <laughs> um, they wanted me to look like him, I think. Um, I, you know what I, you know what thought I had when I was watching the show? I was like, who's, I mean, I know whose decision it was and I love them dearly and it's, I look great or whatever, but like, <laughs> whose decision was it to have me completely clean shaven around here? Because this, the stubble, the, it hi hides a multitude of sins. And I, I know. every single shot I am in, my chin is resting around my nipples. Like, it's crazy how big my uh, double chin is. Sam, it's... why do you think we have beards? I mean, it's like, that was the first thing when I went back for season two. Actually, when you ask, is there any influence we have? That was the one influence that I put over the, the makeup team. I was like, can I please fill my fucking beard in? I don't want to oh my God. double chin anymore. I, want... I don't think yeah. I've ever, I don't think I have ever... <laughs> I, I will never, ever clean shave again. Like, because sometimes I flirt with the idea of maybe I'll be clean shaven. And after watching that, but I mean, I know I'm not clean shaven in the show, but this area is. After watching it back, I was like, oh my God, sick, they CGI'd a pelican over, over my face. You're very I healthy, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to say it's skinny one because you're not, but you're just healthy. You're really good, you're a really good weight now. So if that's what you want, you. that's what you are. Um, I don't no, think you need to be on anymore, but I, I, I completely understand. Oh, now, now everyone's yeah. telling us we look great and we're amazing. This is, I burst into tears, I imagine. Um, uh, okay, do you guys, um, would you do any events or cons in the UK? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, I've done a lot, a lot of comic cons. I've done a lot of comic cons everywhere. And I will continue to. So and we will be, I mean, nothing's confirmed just yet, but I think we will be at quite a few comic cons this year, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, just to tease, I definitely said yes to a few Comic-Con offers. I can't say which ones yet, because they'll be announced in 
in in due course yeah, yeah. but I, I i will be both of us and i think some other people as well obviously samba and reese are going to be at um the one in chicago c2e2 in chicago right that's all been announced um yeah and yeah so there's going to be a few of us we're going to be milk in the comic-con circuit for us worth um <laughs> and come thought for sure um K uh, christian are you going to do any more dj gigs in scotland in Scotland? Um, no, uh, it's the one country I will never play again. Now, of course, uh, yeah, anywhere. Uh, I would play anywhere. I would play in. Um, oh, I think we have a Mr. Con O'Neill who wants to join us. <laughs> that was that, that, so that, that, that surprise guest. Let's let him in. Oh, my God, look at that. Where is he? Uh, Con, if you're watching, try Adam again, and I'll let you in. We're not, neither of us We've got a little technology. surprise appearance, folks, from Mr. Conathan <laughs> O'Neill. Conathan O'Nonathan. <laughs> I mean, because Con has been nervously texting me about how to... I mean, I know I can't really talk because I essentially ran around um, like <laughs> there was a fire in my home for the first, like, eight minutes of this. But... Here we go. I have a Is he coming? already. Mm-hmm. Yay! Oh. Hello. <laughs> Good evening, How are we all? Hello, Conathan. How are we, sweetheart? Good. Good. How are you two? Happy New Year. Good. So how's this working? What's happening? What are we doing? Has anyone said fuck yet? Oh, yes. Uh, We've said I think, I think fuck. you were the first actor to Believe it or not. Bum, I said... I think, I think it was actually Nathan, funny enough. He said it first. Wow. I know. I'm I'm considering what a nun and all that. Just so they... North, oh, Is yeah. it just so they know that you travel and you know what countries are and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> just right, a pretty good intelligent. Do. Okay. We're fielding questions. We're fielding we're, questions we're... right now. We're just fielding some questions, um, so mm -hmm. get your questions. We, people, we know you have questions for Con, so get them in now, because this is a, this is a, I mean, the man's, a, the man's appearance is worth its weight in gold, do you know what I mean? So get your questions in now. Come on. I mean, we're being I very careful with spoilers, but it's, it's not, probably not working very well. <laughs> uh, okay, when did you guys realise the show was a hit? Con. Um, for me, the realization was when you and I were in Chicago or Seattle. I'm not sure which. Which was the first one, Nathan? Chicago. The Seattle, yeah. Chicago. Oh, yeah. And people were stopping us in the street because obviously the show hadn't heard in the UK by then. So we hadn't had any of the, the, the public um, affirmation until we went to the States again. That was the first time for both of us in the States since the show had landed. So, yeah, yeah, that was the first time. And it was so lovely and so um, appreciative and loving and kind that um, I think it surprised us both, didn't it, mate? It did really surprise us. And also what comes being too humble to say is that what happened is that me and Con tried to go to a restaurant together and they told us <laughs> they told us they couldn't get us in. And then uh, one of the servers recognised us that we got seated, which was um, obviously uh, a beautiful moment for us both. But it also just meant we got to eat. I did a half an hour earlier, which was great. Yeah. Um, Con, there's been about eight questions that I've seen about your hair people want to know your hair routine how do you get it that shiny what someone asked what does izzy's hair smell like so if you want to sort of just go down that rabbit hole um i i i um i <laughs> listen lady debs who loves makeup and her in, in new zealand is a goddess of, of um of all that you see so uh, she cut my hair, she styled my hair, she made me wash it at least once a month. So um, all smells and all questions about smells, find Deb's hand on, on Twitter or if she's on any social media and ask her. I have no idea. 
I literally turned up grumpy and then got made to love it. What? Well, there, well, there we go. Oh, I, mean, I, feel like, I feel like I have to jump in on behalf of the people here, and everyone is asking you, Nathan, is Con a good kisser? I've seen it about a thousand times, so I have to ask it. Yeah. Answer it, Nathan. Listen, <laughs> a lady doesn't kiss and tell. Do you know what I mean? I, I think no it be... I Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Folks, I I am an artist. Do you know what I mean? I'm not up here for your titillation. I'm not here for you to get your rocks off so you can actually <laughs> yeah. jack it. So you we can actually jack are. it. This is... <laughs> yeah, I kind of, we, we kind of are. Exactly why we're here. <laughs> I know at this point we're sort of just adjacent to porn stars. Oh, someone's turned it around to you. Con, are you a good kisser? Someone's asked. Please. I like kisser. Um, Nathan said I was. So, just, you know. Oh, that is it. That is so adorable. You're side by side on my screen. It's like, oh, so adorable. Without giving too much away, Christian, am I a good kisser? When, when did this happen? Was I on some sort of medication? I'm throwing that in there. I imagine you would be in my dreams, you have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like <laughs> very much. You do have very soft lips. Thank you. For someone who's so hard on the exterior. That's Deb's pen. <laughs> all the, um, the lip softener. That's yes. Deb's as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Fuck it out. Con, I, I have a question from you. This is from your biggest fan, me. Um, how are you <laughs> feeling about the release of the new season of Happy Valley? Um, do you know... Uh, I'm in the States at the moment, so I've missed Without Sin, which is a show I did, which has just come out, and I've, I haven't been there for the release of Happy Valley, and um, I'm not there for the release of Our Flag. Um, I, I hope the Happy Valley fans love it. it, it Sally Wainwright is a, is a genius, and Sarah and Shiv, uh, Siobhan Finneran, are both two of the greatest actors I've had the pleasure to work with. So, um, yeah, I'm very proud of it. I, I, I hope it. I hope it it worked as well as it, it felt it was going to. Uh, but I haven't seen any of it because I've been away. So I haven't been to any screenings. Um, but, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. Can I just interject? You your, your audio was cutting out a little bit. Um, and Nathan solved his problem by using headphones. Oh, let me try and get some headphones. Yeah. Um, um, I, you you are you're like fully on like, like Carol you're, you're in the back you're in the back with like a headset on yeah, like, yeah, yeah. with like those yeah, the headset. Like, Actually, hold on. oh my god I love that and now you look like a pilot <laughs> Ima imagine you as a pilot imagine hearing your voice coming over the thing being like ah so um uh, so late we're <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <laughs> just say we're fucked. Um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Is that better? Um, Can you hear me better? Perfectly, perfectly, gorgeously. Um, do we have Marvelous. any? Uh, do we have any other questions for the gang? We just, we were just saying, Con, we both just watched the the pilot as it came out, and it was very. Mm -hmm. um, Odd to watch it again, you know. It was very yeah, strange, yeah. and it and it must be, yeah, it must just be weird for you guys as well. Like with knowing where season two goes, and, and like it must be so strange to like sit and watch the very first episode of season one and be like, oh my god, like this is we've got so far to go, you know. Well, for me, it felt it felt weird because I could see myself sort of figuring out who the character was. I mean, mm. you know, you, know, you can see what you're doing. <laughs> Instead of you sort of witness what's going on behind the scenes in your head, and it was nice to in season two, it was just nice to jump back in and know exactly that we John was a grumpy, lazy piece of shit. <laughs> so <it's just> <laughs> me, <laughs> me on camera. Uh, <laughs> it was nice to accept that. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I can really, I can really feel in moments when I watch that episode back, like, I just want to be like, I, I just want to grab myself on the shoulder and be like, relax your face, honey. Like, I'm just do like, I'm no. doing, because you know when you're like really trying to find the character, so you're maybe overshooting it a little bit. Like, there are just a few shots where I'm like, babe, you're not doing children's theatre. You're not Mr. Tumble, okay? Why don't you wind <laughs> it in? Like, it's just, it's just a little bit much. But that's, that's me being hypercritical of myself. Here I go again. Um... <laughs> Okay, I, we've been watching Chernobyl and yeah. Con's hair. Well, I, can we get a shout out for it's not having the hair that Con has in Chernobyl? <laughs> yes, the Chernobyl perm. It was, um, the, the little bit of uh, inside gossip about the perm was it was only decided really late on in the process before we before we started filming like it was only a couple of days before we started filming it they decided to give me a perm and i was filming something else at the same time in the uk so they couldn't perm my hair properly so they had to put curlers in it every single morning <laughs> so i had to, to, i looked like ina sharples none of you will get that <laughs> um, but every morning i just i just nothing has changed since I, okay. I, I know I know, um, and it, it was it was heated rollers every morning for a five month shoot. Does anybody remember? Wow! Bears? Excuse me. You, <laughs> what did you call me? No, I, I really hear this. This is a legitimate product. It was in the eighties, and it was like a foam roller that heated up. And it, yeah, 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 yeah. Banders, and it totally got away. It was, I loved that fucking shit, and I couldn't believe it was real. Did you? Use, well, did you I, use, I I used a beard. Oh wow. Wow. I have curly hair. I don't. I have no need. No need for a perm. You. You had curly hair. Yeah. We need to see a photograph. In the eighties. Guys, you've got a Christian there on it's, Instagram. You'll, you'll see a photograph of my. Right. Long, I'll do that later. Uh, got long hair. Wow. Long hair. Long curly hair. Yeah. Wow. 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 I'm afraid I can't speak to the experience of anyone who was alive in the 80s. I was nothing but a sort of glimmer in my father's eye. Do you know what I mean? But um, I, I have so much respect for the old community. Um, Nathan, do the wooden boy <laughs> voice. Um, oh, my God. I did. Oh, actually, fun fact about curling hair. Um, my, so the hairstyle that I have in, in our flag, the my hair is so naturally straight it's like po like does not want to hold any texture at all so they would curl my hair with a curling iron every single morning and sometimes i would have to do it like two or three times in a day because my hair would just like fall and fall all over my face and fun fact baby lot i lost her hair baby lost a lot of hair is what i meant to say i lost so <laughs> much hair during the first season of our flag you people don't even know. Like, like just reams of it. And I'm only just getting it back now. He says, this is a huge ball patch in his head. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. Did you know this, Christian? I did know that, yes. Did you? I, yeah. You? I yeah. You complained about it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like we said earlier. <laughs> well, yeah. listen, I was losing my hair, though. Yes, oh, is he frozen? I was really bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I oh. think Nathan's freezing. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. What oh. oh. is there a series oh. of dramatic poses? Oh. On my back. Oh. I can I, hear I you, but you're voguing. You're doing voguing, yeah. How's this now? Are you back? Yes. Back. Yeah, you're coming back. Yeah. Okay, fine. I don't, listen, I, the first time we did this, it was absolutely seamless. And now this time it's a nightmare from hell. Seamless. <laughs> it's not pointless. Oh God. I, I don't know how you're you, doing it. You well, I'm just seeing, I don't know how you're doing it. Well, me neither. I, I don't understand the, the, the technology behind it. <laughs> okay. We should do a clap test. Do you know what a clap test is in the industry? No. When I say one, two, three, clap, we should all clap. And, right, one, two, three, clap. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're in sync. For me, that was in sync. <laughs> and now we all that's, have to clap. That's, that's, <laughs> a secret, that's a secret of our comedy timing. 
<laughs> also, I'm so obsessed with Christian saying, do you know what a clap test is in the industry? And it's us three in our yeah. respective homes going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so technical. Yeah, we've um, <laughs> is, that um a game, is that a Game of Thrones term? The clap test. Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, people are saying people are saying I'm out of sync. You know what? At this point, people, you get what you're given. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing more I can do. Um, does anyone have any more uh, questions, comments, concerns? Con, do you have a favourite memory from filming the pilot? We were just talking about that before you arrived. I'm not in the pilot. Oh my god, you're not, are you? So yeah. my favourite memory was lying by the pool. Wow, my god, you're not um, in the pilot. Do you know I watched the, I rewatched the pilot and was flooded with so much affection for Rory Kinnear. I'd forgotten how oh, yeah. fucking. Funny Rory is in the show. Yeah. He's so good. He's a great actor. I mean, I I, I worked with yeah. Rory at more or less the start of his career. I did a play with him at the uh, the national, and he was. Um, I think it was his first lead. I'm not sure, but I think it was his first lead. And he was just phenomenal man. He's a he's an extraordinarily gifted actor, Rory. So mm -hmm. good. I truly think one of the funniest lines in the whole show is when he's looking through the telescope and he goes I oh, it's so good <laughs> my my favorite of Roy's lines is later on where he's where he's being uh, grappled to the ground by the soldiers oh, yeah. and he's screaming I'm better than you as far as I know that was improvised and I just thought it was that yeah he's a wonderful wonderful actor Roy yeah so good people are asking and I'm a great kisser yeah, a go really good kisser. Really, yeah. really good. Yeah. Really good. I think everyone can attest to that. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, where's my sweater from? I, you need to know. Um, just, a, I guess, like a, like a, just a shop. Con, I found an original Blood Brothers soundtrack cassette yeah. the other day. God, everyone's really doing a deep dive into Conathan O'Neill's, you know, know. back catalogue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a cassette. <laughs> it's a cassette. That should tell you all you need to know. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, 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 I had worked before our flag. Con, also, don't even dare act uh, modest for one second. Con likes to remind you that he was on Broadway every 45 seconds. Yeah. Um, 42, 43, 44. When I was on Broadway. Um, Fuck it, yeah. Al. Um, yeah. And also, just a quick shout out for me. Someone just said that they love my performance in um, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which, uh, thank you so much. Um, someone's asking to see dogs. Who's got, who wants to show their dogs off? My dogs not, are in I bed. Don't I, and I don't have my dog with me. Sick, cool, glad that, glad that worked. Um, okay, oh, people are, people are asking for uh, about uh, bloopers and deleted scenes. Do we have any, like, do we have anything that didn't make it into the show? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's lots of outtakes. I don't know if they'll ever see the light of day. Um, but I, uh, yeah, every single fucking scene has got yeah. cut out mm. because we're all so... Busy, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'd love to see some outtakes, but I, I, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. To be honest, mm -hmm. I, I don't know who makes that decision. Yeah, I, I, I don't know that there'd be like there are plenty of bloopers, but like I maybe you'd need maybe they'd need to do one after like several seasons or something. I think it needs to like build up. Yeah, so like a DVD or a box set or something like that. Yeah, yeah, probably I mean, a DVD. All right, Nana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking DVD, Jesus Christ. What, do you want the soundtrack on vinyl? My God. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and they're going to release it. They're going to release a special <laughs> edition of cave painting just for you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> with, with the word fuck <laughs> in the balloon. It's and just, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. I'm so many things to say. It's not embarrassing. Yeah, indeed. indeed. <laughs> People, oh, our flag BBC is trending in the UK. Yay! Yay! 
We did uh, We did do it. We, um, us three specifically did it, I think. Is um, it going out every week or is it, is it? It's not, I think it's every week. Is it every week? Yeah, it's going out. So they're doing, I believe, it's a double bill every Wednesday for the next five weeks, I believe. Oh, wow. Was it a double bill tonight? Yeah, yeah. And we didn't quite realise that. So, oh, um, really? so Yeah, so we, <laughs> the first half of this was over the second episode. <laughs> wow. But, uh, no, wow. listen. We, re- we really do have our finger on the pulse. Oh, yeah. Actually. We're just so... Him asking for DVDs, me talking about cassettes. We're just the throbbing <laughs> Listen, it's of fine. These freaks have seen the show. They've all watched it. <laughs> They've all already seen it. Love you guys. Yeah. Um, any projects on the horizon that you're all looking forward to? Besides season two is what it says. I've got a show coming up next month on ITVX Broadway. called Nolly. <laughs> it's before I go back to Broadway. Um, it, it's called Nolly. It's written by the brilliant genius that is Russell T. Davis and it's Helena Bonham Carter and myself and Augustus Pugh doing the story of Noel Gordon who was a famous daytime soap opera actress in the UK. That's coming out in February and um I had such fun filming it. It's what I filmed just before I went to New Zealand. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Nice. Christian? Christian? There's a... On the 29th of January, there's a movie in the cinemas called Unwelcome. Um, it's a little horror movie. We filmed with Colm Meany from Star Trek. Uh, I love Colm Meany. Jimmy Lee O'Donnell from Derry Girls. A really great Irish cast. Um... Um, and Hannah John Pillen, who came in? Hannah John came in? Came in? Came in? Yeah. Anyway, very long. She was in The Wasp and stuff like that. Um, it's a really good slash probably quite terrible horror movie. And I think it's, it's, it's like a, a creature creature feature. So uh, it'll be a fun to in the it. movies. You're the creature. Yeah, I'm always the creature, babe. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and then I've got, I'm writing the book. At the moment, so what you you what? I'm, I'm, I'm the book. I didn't know you could read and write, babe. Yeah, I know. And this is I. I just woke up one morning and I started fucking writing. Oh my god! Yeah. And is this is this a fictitious book or is it uh, 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 autobiographical? And it's are we about, in it? It's actually about me. You're not in it. There's only the important oh. parts of my life, and once I don't Ooh. want to forget. Um, so you mean like the DVDs and the cassettes? The DVDs, yes, and the vinyl. But yeah, I'm writing the book. Someone approached me to do it, and I really, I, I thought it. I, I was like, I don't have anything. I, well, what would I write about? And then it turns out that I've quite a lot to write about. So, um, how cool yeah. is that? Oh what my you, god! I, I, so I still um, can't do it. I guess my answer is um, no. No, I've got. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, writing a bunch of stuff at the moment. Stuff that I can't talk about. Um, but uh, yeah, busy writing. And as I say, we are. I will be at some comic cons this year. Um, I've got some little bits and pieces coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, someone said that they want a tattoo tour from Christian. Oh so, yeah. So get your kit off, babe. Come on. Yeah. It wouldn't be the first time, you know. Yeah, exactly. I don't have my prosthetic here. Are you gonna... No, it's not here. Are you gonna... Show off your tattoos. Come on, you slut. What, me? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, that's Sylvanas. Sylvanas from Warcraft. That's um, a ghost story from my family. It's a banshee. It's, it's terrible light here, actually. Um, that's um, nothing, actually. That's from Watership Down. Oh, nice. nice. That's a nuclear sign, which I, I put it, that was my first tattoo, the nuclear symbol, because everyone that was, was there when I was growing up was like, how do you get this hole? How do you get this hole? I used to always say, I live too close to the power plant. And that was um, what was my little symbol, which just a bit of a fuck off to people. Um, I was drunk when I had those done. I don't regret them. Fuck that. Um, and yeah, I've got dead written on the back of my neck. And I have Godzilla on my leg. And I'll soon we'll have Morticia Adams here. 
Oh, Excellent. Wow. Oh my God, your biological mother, Morticia. Adams. My biological mother is going to be on my arm. I love that. Um, I've seen a few people because um, I said in Seattle that I was going to get a tattoo for my birthday. People are asking about whether I did get a tattoo in the end. And the answer is... I did, um, I and all will be uh, revealed when I when I when I show it. It's just not quite ready to show yet. It's still it's not looking a hundred percent yet. But uh, it's not oh, quite. Geez. It's not quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it hasn't stopped bleeding since I had it, which is really? fine. I, no, I'm joking. Um, uh, but uh, you'll 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 see it when you see it, folks. Um, it's on my hole, imagine. Um, so I there's there's a segment of there was a. So, Calm, you won't know about that. Did you? I don't know if you watched the first one that we did, but there was a segment in the first one where I um, I had questions prepared for Christian. Um, oh, okay. And um, I did prepare some ahead of time, but you're both here, so these can be for both of you. Oh, God. Um, okay. And it's just it's just a little uh, it's just a little. Um, kind of a, a segment where I interview you guys. I kind of want to turn the lens back on you guys. It's so, so much of the noise on my back. Nathan, Nathan, you know, we're obsessed with Nathan. So I want to, like, I want to, you know, give you a second to shine. Um, okay, are we ready? Everyone ready? No, yeah. that's a quick question. Someone just asked, I will be performing as a DJ again. I will be probably going on tour this year. Okay, sick. Don't you so, your eyes, you little shit bag. <laughs> so, um, are, we, are we both uh, ready for... I'm going to, as I say, yeah, ignore me wait. now, removing all ego from this. This is all about you guys. Ready? Okay. Can't wait. Okay. Here we go. Question one. There are four questions. <laughs> um, Christian, Cop, yes. some 10 months have elapsed since the US premiere of smash hit comedy, Our Flag Means Death, starring Nathan Fode and others. Now the show has found its UK home. How stratospheric do you expect my rise to be? How famous do we think Nathan's going to become? How many, well, supermarkets, I, how many supermarkets have you opened? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, well, I, I, I forced a few open with my hands. I, <laughs> I think your rise to stardom is is going to be pretty much like your tattoo. One off. We will, we will see it when it happens. <laughs> okay, amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, and I hope you, I hope you got whatever you needed out of that. Okay, so second, uh, second question. Uh, well, okay, this one is uh, for for Christian. You can both answer. Um, Christian, tonight was your first time watching the pilot of Our Flag yeah. Means Death. What were you able to learn from my performance? And how, <laughs> and how will you apply those lessons in future, should you be lucky enough to work again? Well, it's more than, well, and I know what not to do. Oh, um, okay. At I'm, well. I'm carrying that forward in all my performances. I, at I'm well. I'm not even become, become, ever aspiring to like become a fan favorite. Your real life personality. Become a fan <laughs> favorite. Yeah, no, avoid that. Um, okay, sick. Um, Con, anything you want to add? Um... <laughs> I, I will say, just to um, just to kind of dilute your uh, thirst for fame with some real facts. I was talking to a, a highly revered writer here in the states the other day, and they were singing your praises uh, to the hilt. Don't do that. Dude. See the bald spot. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> So I I think I think you, um, I think your performance in the first season of Half Flag is one of the highlights of the show. So fuck you, Nathan Ford. That's a nice thing to say. And that writer was Shonda Rhimes. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Third question. Um, and what this can be both of you, um, but Christian Con. Um, in the summer of 2022, us three appeared at Seattle Convention Emerald City together. During yeah. said convention, you both enjoyed considerably longer lines at your signing tables than I did. My question is, during a cost of living crisis, does it feel good to steal food from the mouth of a young queer waif? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah, Christian? It, it, it was more about the ease with which it happened. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> the lack of effort that either of us needs to put in to, for people to gravitate towards us. Yeah, I'm kind of, a, I'm and at my table sweating, tap dancing, begging, and, and no that, one's coming. Yeah. The, the amount of noise coming from your table, the shrieking of, I'm free and I have no cue. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so continuous that um, <laughs> we, we found it. We found it hilarious. I did, as did well, most. I also people. think for the queer youth and, and the queer people in general, it's good to have a place to go when obviously there's such an open void. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was absolutely tragic, and, and I, I also am think to provide that service for whatever costs. I think for queer people, it's good for them to look at me and my lack of light at those conventions. And other so, things are going to get better? Well, yeah, yeah they, they know, <laughs> at, least uh, at least we know there's a floor on this thing. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so fourth and final question. It's also very ready? aspirational. Though, if you can do it, anyone can do it. You know. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of like if this if this chump can pull it off. Um, well, there was, there was that guy who has never been on the TV who sat at a table next to you who got more people asking for photographs and selfies than you did. Yeah. And he was literally just... A cleaner. A guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a cleaner. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, mm. Things can only go up, as the actress said. 2023. Oh. 2023, um, my friend. Final question. And this one is... I, this one's for Christian McCon. I kind of... I would love your input on this. Um, Chris, George? Christian, I once witnessed you pick up a script supervisor by the loose skin on her neck and swing around. <laughs> Christian. Christian. I once, Christian, I once witnessed you pick up a script supervisor by the loose skin on her neck and swing her around like a wet shirt simply because she corrected your continuity. Even though that... <laughs> Even though that didn't actually happen, how do you feel about the fact that I tell people it did? <laughs> Where you the shit from? Uh, first of all, I want to know which script supervisor has this skin. I'm going to tell them. Uh, I didn't say it was on the set of Ask Like Me's Death. I just like, I, you know, I like, I like to, I shadow, I like to watch you at work and stuff. So, uh, I just want to know how people just... you know, Sometimes people don't have to need to be told. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to make it really clear before anyone absolutely loot the buzz and tumble the post about it. Christian didn't really do that. Okay. Um, thank you for participating in my interview. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> okay, great. Um, wow, uh, that was that was so fun. That was do we something. Have, do, that really was something. Do we have any other? Um, because we should wrap this up soon. It's been nearly it an hour. Um, yeah. Do we... Um, I have Warcraft to play. <laughs> yeah, you have Warcraft to play. I've got uh, real friends to talk to and stuff. So um, we should we should get off this. Con, <laughs> Con do you have any um, parting words? I, I want to know what your parting words are to those in the UK who have watched maybe one or two episodes tonight and they're about to embark on the journey that is Our Flag Means Death. What do you have to say to them? Oh... Yeah, uh, welcome to the world that is Our Flag Means Death, and all are welcome, and that's what makes us a special show. I'm crying, I'm sobbing. Um, Christian, do you have any, any parting words for, for those that have tuned in? Yes, I do. Hour? We have such a wonderful family of fans, so if you're new to it, just jump in with both feet. Um, it's a really wonderful group of fans. Um, they'll look after you, and empower you and everything like that and also it's been such a joy to work with everybody on this show and i just can't wait to see what people think of the first season and then now also the second season it's it's just so exciting i can't wait to hear what people think Mm. oh by the way happy birthday jeff I've just seen that coming. Happy birthday, Jeff. Happy birthday, Jeff. Happy birthday, Jeff. Um, and happy birthday to anyone whose birthday it may have been today, tomorrow, yesterday. Yeah. Let's just take this as a sort of universal happy birthday for anyone who's ever experienced a birthday. Yeah. And, yeah, well, what about you, Nathan? What, have you got anything to say to yeah. people who are... I would just say, um, don't panic. I do feature a lot more as the season goes on. Um, yeah, okay. Keep breath. <laughs> just relax relax your shoulders don't worry you're going to be seeing a lot more in um no no guys honestly it's been this has been so much fun <laughs> oh god I'm, i i i can't stand myself right um this has been a joy con but you're you were such a lovely surprise guest thank you yeah. for coming on 
Enjoy the no, I totally time. enjoyed it. Loved it. it it's, um, it's lovely to see you, bro. It's been so yeah. long, Nathan. We I should know. do it again before the, before the end of the season. We should do it again. I well, think. yeah, maybe. I was thinking yeah. maybe we should do another one when, like, the final two episodes are out. Yeah. 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 I agree. I have no idea where I'll be at that point, but let, let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll hop in just for yeah. the last bit because I'm so old, I need my sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need your, yeah. you need your 3,000 3, wings. Yeah, I can't do 100. I can't do 60 minutes of anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just too much. All right, I love you all. Okay. And I don't know how to get off. Love you guys. Show. Thank you for being just here. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it. Love you all so um, much. Bye, Happy friends. Happy New Year. Bye -bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yay. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.